can still remember how to do this. Fashion, fashion, it's Emily this Fashion Cafe. Woo! Mama still got it. You guys have been asking me to bring back this intro. Here you go. I love you. I listen to you. I read all the comments. Grab yourself a little cup of coffee, tea, whatever you please. We are back to talk about fashion, better and bigger than before ever. Hopefully. Before you get started, please give this video a like. Uh, since you're already here, it doesn't cost you anything. You just push a little like button. Hopefully, it will reach some more people that used to enjoy fashion cafes or even new people that are welcome here. Today, I did not pick this topic by accident. I wanted to start the fashion cafe series on a really high note, and I'm so passionate about this topic. Um, it is something that I discovered recently in my life. Um, you know, it's been, I've, been, I've been on this earth for a couple years, and you'd be surprised that just now I'm starting to get this. So I wanted to share with you guys this epiphany that I had. It's interesting because what I'm about to talk about, there are two extremes. There are the people that do all that and like go way too many steps to be able to leave the house. And then there's the people that are chill. I wanna say I'm like way more on the chill side, whereas my mom is like all the way over here. And one advice that I really, really just now, I'm starting to like listen to my mom. Um, she said, always, always look put together. My mom is the type of person, I mean, she's a teacher. She would always like be in a pinstripe suit and hair done, makeup done, heels, always look put together. There's not a single person that can she can see without like putting herself together. The only time I see her in like hair curlers with no makeup is just like whenever she's at home at night going to bed. So every single day she made it a point that no matter where she goes, she can go to the post office, she can go to Ralph's, she can go to whatever she can go, she always, always looks put together. Now, for me, I always thought that's kind of a prison. It's like, why, you can't even leave the house if you like don't do all these steps. Like, you can't let people see you if you don't have like this mask on. And I'm just now starting to realize that she kind of has a point. Now, this is not a shallow video kind of talking about always being glam and super put together because let's face it, most of the time we don't want to put the effort to put on a full glam and most of us aren't full glam girls. I'm not. However, I want to talk about the importance of putting yourself together every single day and how that's going to change your life and how to do it, what I mean by that and why I'm so passionate about it. I want to take it back quite a few years ago, back when I was in high school and college and I don't have a lot of regrets in life but this is one thing I really, really regret and I'll tell you why. So I remember being in high school and I never wanted to be one of those girls that like has to wake up two hours early and like do her makeup and put herself together and like have this like look about me that I have to upkeep. Like I wanted to preserve my special like makeup put together look for like special occasions. Basically I wanted to be like the super regular whatever normal girl and then all of a sudden like twice a year I show up and I'm like boom like this is my special outfit, my special hair. Also in college I remember I had an office job. I was the assistant to the dean so for the entire year I had sort of a front desk office job. I had my own office that I was promoted to the front desk or whatever and I had a little system that would allow me to get as much sleep as possible which meant I had to wake up at 6 45 I had 15 minutes to uh, brush my teeth put my hair in a ponytail pick my outfit um, then I had like 10 minutes to eat and 30 minutes to drive to the college and go to work and I just remember looking back how I never felt good about myself how I never felt too confident about speaking to people like I was basically the face that like greet people to walk in but I just felt like I don't need that you know as long as I get enough sleep I just put on a hoodie like I'm gonna be fine I'll be okay but I felt like I never really reached my full potential to what um, I can do when I feel confident and I feel good about myself and before you're gonna go into this whole like you don't need makeup to feel beautiful you don't need an outfit like your confidence should come from within I have I think I wrote 10 points as to why it's so important to put yourself together before you leave the house. So before you type an angry comment, listen to what I have to say and then let me know what you think. Number one, dressing up or picking a cute outfit every day doesn't mean that you have to give up comfort. And whether you work from home or you are a mom and you have to take the kids to school or you go to college, you go to high school, you go to a um, 9 to 5 job, um, always, always pick out something that you put a little bit of an effort into. Now I don't mean that you have to like dress up in a pin suit and like look all like to the nines, but something that wasn't just like, ugh, like let me reach for this t-shirt and like whatever, because today is not a special day. Today I'm not really like 
gonna see anybody or I'm not gonna do anything or I don't feel like it. You truly are setting yourself up for the attitude of the day and how you feel about yourself. Let me know if you guys want me to do a detailed video on how to put outfits together for specific jobs, specific days, I would be more than glad to do so. Second point, it lifts your self-esteem because you automatically put a little bit of an effort and thought of how you're going to look today and you give yourself the self-respect and the time to put something together which ultimately brings me to the next point it does lift your self-esteem because as days go by and you just kind of put something together without putting thought into it um you start to develop like a very sad kind of overall feeling and i remember how i felt months and months at a time as if it's like i was living in like this timeline that was leading up to something more important than what I'm doing right now. Like what I'm doing right now is not that important, so um, I'm just gonna wear whatever, look whatever, and then whatever it is, there is something important, then I'm gonna dress up for that. The point is that if you try to treat every single day like it's a special occasion, um, life is gonna smile back at you. You're gonna get more opportunities. Like you're gonna wanna run into people that you've been avoiding. For me personally, which brings me to the next point, is that I, um, I'm so much more likely to get out of the house if I look cute, you know? I'm so much more likely to say yes to opportunities or things or like invitations from my friends, even if I'm home not doing anything. If I already put myself together, I'm like, you know what? I look cute, whatever. If I'm walking to a grocery store and I'm somewhat put together, I'm more likely to make eye contact with people and nicer to people. I'm just more communicative because I feel like here I am. I am presenting the best version of myself um, I am letting my personality shine because how my look is right now is like I feel good about it, you know? Also, you never know who you're gonna run into. I don't know how and why the universe works in mysterious ways. Every single time you run into an enemy, a bad ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend, for my voice here too, um, you're gonna be looking like shit. And you are like, well, why? Why is it always like this? Can't happen if you're looking cute all the time. <laughs> Next point, although it seems kind of unfair and I always want to be that person, it's like I want them to like me for my personality and I want them to like me because I'm a good person, da 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 Unfortunately, people will take you more seriously if you're put together and that goes with anything. Let's say you are stuck in a situation where you have to argue a parking ticket, um, you're going to check out your new apartment that you're going to rent, you're going to talk to the dean's office, you're, whatever you're going, Anytime you're put together, um, you have a little bit of a look going on, people are just gonna talk to you differently, they're gonna respect you differently. And also you never know who you're gonna meet for the first time, so that's gonna be the first impression that you give to somebody. And also, if you're watching this video, you think like, oh my god, now I have to be in this like, continuous prison that I have to look good at all times, I'm not even allowed to leave the house unless I have da 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 Otherwise, nobody can see you without a full face of makeup and a cute outfit or whatever. Let's take like the the lowest form of getting ready or putting myself together. For example, I'm going to Ralph's to like pick something up or I'm just going downstairs to like talk to my neighbors. Um, instead of just going as is, I'm just gonna look at myself in the mirror. It takes me exactly two minutes. I brush my hair, put it back in a ponytail, do a little bit of blush. If I need concealer, I can add concealer. If I don't need that, I don't need that. Um, I just put a shirt that doesn't look like it was spilled, nothing on it. I look at my shoes, I check that I look put together. And sometimes your friends will be like, well, you don't need that, you look great. Like you don't need to put makeup on or, or whatever it is that is like part of your beauty routine. Uh, it's not even so much that, which brings me to the next point. Putting yourself together is part of your self-care routine. It is something that you can do for yourself that just does something for you psychologically. So it doesn't have to be like, false lashes and like, you know, this crazy whatever look. Even just looking yourself in the mirror a little bit, like seeing what you can do, why you can put, put yourself together, add a little highlighter, add a little bronzer, a little, a little something that just like in your heart, you're like, all right, I'm ready now. I put a little bit of effort in myself. I feel better about myself. Let's go. Another weird thing that works that I noticed, and this is for all of you that work from home or you're a stay-at-home mom, when you look more put together, it increases your productivity. Like I notice that I get so much more done if I just like, as soon as I get up, I put myself together, um, I just get more work done. Like I just feel so cute, I'm like let's go baby. Also sometimes like I'll wear heels around the house, especially when I'm working at my desk. It just makes me feel so much more fierce and like that bitch. So there's this book, uh, it's called The Power of Habit, I believe, and it talks about how uh, it takes 21 days to form a habit. 
So, if you're gonna leave this video, I wanna leave you with one thing. Take 21 days uh, and try every single day for 21 days to put yourself together. Whether that's full glam, medium glam, just put on iron your shirt, uh, you know, do a little blush, braid your hair, whatever you have to do for 21 days, make it a point every single day to put yourself together and dress yourself and feel good and look good. And I wanna hear from you how that's gonna change your life. Because for me, it has honestly been one of the most life-changing things that I've done for myself. Um, I feel like I've spent years and years not living up to my full potential where I'm just like, you know what, like I'm gonna save my special blouse for a special occasion. I'm gonna save this makeup look for this occasion. Every day is a special occasion. You have to live every day if it's your special day because it opens up opportunities for even more special things to happen to you. Because honestly, you can type in the comments below, I genuinely don't remember the day where I was looking like a mess, kind of wanted to like be under the radar, just like drop my whole foods and leave and like not want anybody to see me where I had a good day. The best days that I had or where I like put my best effort forward to present myself to the world and that like lets my personality and everything else shine 10 times more. And at the end of the day, uh, you should treat yourself as a friend that you want to help. So instead of just that, like leaving the house, whatever, putting something together, like it doesn't matter, you're not giving yourself the best chances of seizing the day. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you are still here, do not leave yet. Please give me a like, it will help me out so much. And if you're new to this channel, this is the first Fashion Cafe episode that you've ever seen. Hit that subscribe button, uh, you will not regret it. I am now posting all the time. And on that note, I will see you in my next video. I love you guys.